I want to show you the terrestrial scanner VC600i. I think um, that's good to have both presentations, one behind the other. Uh, kinematic scanning, and uh, I want to show you the static scanning. Uh, the sorry, do we have some? Um, then I I talk to the video. So you take a tripod, take the scanner, six kilogram, and uh, two batteries, one. FC uh, card, so there is a one terabyte uh, hard drive inside. The data will be um, uh, all the time synchronized with with a CF Express card, and the specialty, the real scanning time is 30 seconds, so we can uh, scan one scan position per minute. That means 60 per hour. One scan position uh, has 30 million points, 6 millimeter resolution in 10 meter distance. Uh, so that's a really high speed scanner. And the photographs are included. So you can change, um, for example, here are the RTK uh, GNSS receiver, here are the different uh, photo cameras options. Uh, specialty of this scanner, all the scans are registered inside, on board, on the scanner. So on the uh, 100 scan position, uh, 99 scan positions are registered inside. You take the CF Express card. Unfortunately, we have no sound. That means um, our technical director is explaining. You can, uh, since today, this video is on YouTube. Um, you can listen to our technical director uh, what happens in the automatic registration. There are three, three steps. First step is either IMU or GNSS. Second step is we convert to voxel and uh, make some Fourier transformation. Third step is a kind of ICP uh, point cloud to point cloud registration. So that's a really registration process inside of the scanner. It's the same like in the computer. Um, and uh, the next are uh, some examples. Uh, this is the one-touch processing wizard, so we can deliver the point cloud within 24 hours. Uh, that uh, software, RISCAM Pro, comes with the instrument. We have an automatic elimination of moving targets. Uh, the point cloud has reflectance. That's uh, autogonal view uh, in the X-ray view. And uh, some example, one uh, is a square in Italy um, with a lot of scan positions. That's in UK, in York. Uh, to, that's an example on the railway uh, with hundreds of scan positions. That's the uh, metro in Paris. Uh, this is a, a construction site in Hungary. So uh, the main points are there is an onboard registration, so you come back to the office, everything is registered. If you have experience, it's a lot uh, to do, but that's not a pre-registration, that's a real registration. Uh, we have one scan position per minute, and uh, now it's quite lightweight. You see the 60 seconds, you see all the scan positions are almost all are below 60 seconds, and we have the one-touch processing wizard. The whole workflow is, um, but yeah, of course, uh, very high productivity. Everyone will tell you that. So I want to show you some examples. In Germany, seven and a half hours, scanning time, 380 scan uh, positions. Uh, the IP class of the scanner is IP64. On that day, it was raining. So for the police, uh, a car crash scene uh, scanning or for the railway, uh, they cannot say, no, I don't want to scan today. Uh, they have to. Two and a half kilometers of railway, sometimes uh, twice uh, uh, scanned. Specialty is that on the mast bolt, uh, you get some reflectors. They are fine scanned with this time of flight scanner. 
that means we have a special uh, fine scan of these reflectors. And at the end, you can uh, select the right coordinate system with the right EPSG code. And uh, at the end, you get the standard deviation between the total station and the laser scanner. If you have the point cloud with all the moving targets, some people were uh, walking around. Uh, in our software, RiceCam Pro, you can uh, eliminate these targets completely automatically. So if these points are in only one scan position, we can eliminate them. That's the metro tunnel in um, Paris. And that's about 300 meters, one hour scanning, 42 scan positions. And uh, you can see the quality of the point cloud. Uh, that's for a construction company in France. And you see 3.6 to 5 millimeter standard deviation again between total station and the laser scanner. In this case, 13 scan positions. That's a small um, project in UK uh, to scan a city center. You see almost 150 scan positions in a little bit more than two hours. So you see uh, the range of the scanner is up to 200 meters in the high speed mode. If you really need more, you can slow down the scanner and you can measure up to one kilometer. But the standard scan is uh, the six millimeter resolution in 10 meter distance, 30 million points. The uh, pictures are included, the photographs, and also the IMU, GNSS, and so on. So you see the quality of the colored point cloud, and also uh, the same point cloud without the true color information. Uh, we, uh, the, it's gray coded with the so-called reflectance, which is range independent. So the standard deviation. Uh, in respect of a plane is uh, about one, one and a half millimeter. If you want to be better, then we have a high precision mode. Then one scan takes two and a half minutes and we are below one millimeter standard deviation. That's an example in Italy. Oops, sorry. I in May, Six and a half hours, 375 scan positions. Um, yeah, so this scanner is uh, uh, prepared for a big project with high accru accuracy scans. Uh, you see a lot of scan positions are fitting together completely automatically. Here we have one example. It's the cathedral in uh, Regensburg in Germany. So there was a two-day scanning. On the first day, uh, from 11 to 5 p.m., uh, and in total, 500 scan positions. So at the beginning, it's not a must to have a mobile device with you, but you can transfer the registration information on the mobile so you can see all the scan positions and also the data. At the beginning, uh, in the project map, uh, you see uh, some scan positions, and then at the end of the day, uh, inside of the laser scanner, you can create this top view. view. Uh, but more important is, at the end of the first day, you start the one-touch processing visit, and there are several tasks. You filter the data, uh, you modify the mounting calibration of the camera, if it's not uh, registered, you can register the scans. We have also a so-called uh, so multi-station adjustment, which is a block adjustment of all the scan positions. We can use the control points for this block adjustment. And we can also uh, mark the single source points, remove all the moving objects, and we create a uh, octree-based point cloud at the end, for example, with five millimeter resolution. So in the morning of the second day, we have the point cloud, so we can deliver within 24 hours such a point cloud of hundreds of scan positions. And um, 
even the scanner does not scan upwards, uh, the point cloud is complete because there are so many scan positions. That's again in uh, reflectance. At that time, we used the on top Sony Alpha 7 IV uh, camera uh, to take the pictures. Usually, we take the pictures at the same time we're scanning. In this case, first was the scanning, and then we took the pictures. Uh, you see the instrument uh, in the scene. Uh, GPS, usually we have an internal GNSS L1 receiver, but we have also the opportunity to have a, uh, this antenna on top. Of course, that's indoor, but outdoor, if you have uh, a hotspot with your mobile phone, you bring the scanner into the internet, you get the correction signal, so you have the RTK uh, GNSS solution with one to two centimeter accuracy per scan uh, position. The whole uh, scan from the top uh, in the X-ray view, and on the left side, you see the 200 meters uh, maximum range uh, uh, from the point cloud. I think this application we see here can be a good feature of that kind of scanner. Uh, the scanners are so fast that you can use it uh, for the construction. Uh, that means that it's a really big construction uh, site with 600 meters long, uh, 300 meters wide, more than uh, 450 pillars, 14 meters between them, and uh, everything was scanned in one single day, in eight hours. So you see 379 scan positions, again, approximately one minute per scan position, and on the right side, in the project map, you can see how you can orientate yourself. So this scanner is now in use every single day, every single week on that construction site. And they transfer data from Hungary to Austria to the headquarter of this construction company. If you scan the whole area, then you walk for six kilometers. So 379 scan positions, uh, uh, 6,000 meters. And all the uh, scans are registered completely automatically. Of course, there are a lot of control points. Uh, but they are using uh, them all the time. So in the uh, software scene 2, I think it's in the same uh, hall now, um, you can see the point cloud. You can see the BIM model. And you can see also the difference between uh, the BIM model, the IFC uh, data, and the point cloud.